guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I uh Oh sh uh, crap God. Hey guys, Cube Hamster here and welcome to the Tunnel of Doom. Not only does it look like a spaceship, but it's really 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 evil and uh, I want to show you how it works. Now you might have seen a glimpse in the distance or line and it, like when I'm standing still, you don't really see anything. But if I get close, you'll notice that there's two strings here. But there's actually no tripwire hooks. But turns out that even though if there's no tripwire hook, if you uh, walk through a piece of string or on a piece of string, it will give a block update. And I've got two redstone lamp block update detectors, so redstone butts next to it. And once you activate those, it sets in motion a couple of things. First of all, it will uh, close the door up ahead and then it will uh, remove the floor and after that it will reset like nothing happened. So <laughs> a person could run in here and basically they drop down into the lava and lava is actually also pretty evil because like say I were to have blocks in my inventory, it's one deep lava and maybe you want to, you know, place blocks but you can't because uh, I've sort of made the... Uh, bottom of the lava lake out of furnaces <laughs> so that's uh, that's the second evil thing um, but yeah it's quite interesting um, it uh, yeah is exceptionally simple or at least the, uh, the redstone lamp but is a bit weird I'm using detector reels to redirect the redstone um, that's not really new either, but I think the, the fact that uh, combining this with the fact that strings update butts uh, gives sort of an interesting effect because yeah, people won't expect it. It's really hard to see like it's not impossible to avoid But like even if you were to sprint uh, jump you'll end up in the lava anyway, and if you're not, you know Telepathic or anything like that. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's really cool Anyways, this is actually something that I would want to combine with my uh, with my door which is exactly what I did I uh, did have to add some wiring though which is the purple circuit and the way the purple circuit works is basically whenever there's no signal it's uh, safe to go through the hallway of doom and whenever there's a signal here it's not safe to go so you can hook this up to whatever you want I hooked it up to my silent alarm door and uh, yeah this will all be added in the world file of course but let's test it so let's just enter the numpad pin, which is just a straight line through the middle. So technically the door should open now. There we go. And um, yeah, I can just jump through the tripwire. Nothing's going to really happen because it's safe to go through. And if we were to test it again, so let's reset the door. And if I were to break it now, you wouldn't really see anything happen, but if I uh, run through the tripwire, it would fall me or let me fall into the pit of lava and kill me. And, uh, it just reset afterwards. And um, yeah, by just fixing the door and opening it normally again, you uh, get rid of the signal down there. So it's really nice. And yeah, <laughs> that's basically how it works. All of this will be added in the world file. That you can find in the description. You can use this freely however you want. I uh, yeah, really don't mind. That's why I built this sort of stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, I do tons of other stuff. So be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Cube Amster here, and I'll see you out. Well, I'll see you all later. <laughs> bye bye.